Hey everyone, this is the combat zone, and this is where we can pick up a very special companion named Kate. And we're gonna take a break from the main quest because it's about to get really boring, and I thought we could do some fun, cool adventures instead. Sounds good to me! We could fun show you all the cool people I found in my alternate play. There she is. What? Concludes this round. What the? She ain't supposed to be in here. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm cool. Shotgun them to hell. Wow. There's a reason why I use the back system. <laughs> Where are they? I'll be doing the world service. Like a shooting oh! Oh! oh my god. You're a you can spec into more gore as well, which is a great thing. Which is going to happen. <laughs> Cause you get a, a damage bonus if you do. Where are they? I can't find Over oh, there. there they are. Alright, let's go! Kate, my love! I've come to save you! There. Even though you don't really need to. We don't want any trouble! Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I dunno. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Rude. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy, is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights oh, on. Oh, I forgot to be an asshole. Not exactly sorry. sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? Now, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? Should we be a jerk? No, we gotta be nice to Kat. Oh. Uh, well, we don't have to, but she's the only one I want to be nice to. Yeah. She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability. To me, and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me, and her. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? <sighs> Look, truth is, all that junk it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Yeah. Cat's thoughts? Oh, yeah. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to. But yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Yeah, let's go. Sure. I could use someone watching my back. Good. It's settled then. And here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's feet. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Now get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. Let's go, Gay. Kate. So, you're ready to head out? Yes! Wait, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? That depends. How are you feeling? I dunno. Feeling kinda useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. 
So, are you ready to get this show in the road? See? Yeah. Everyone's like, Piper's the best. Or what's her name? Piper? I think Piper. Yeah, you can romance Piper. I'm like, no, no, no. Kate. <laughs> ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Heading out with Kate, huh? Hope you know what you're getting into. Rude. Hey, Valentine. I think you've got something on your face. Oh, it's skin. Yeah, you might want to get that looked at. Oh, while you were gone, I set up a few settlements. Oh, excellent. So now, oh, you can, like, as you play, you can grow your settlements and stuff, but actually doing it is boring to you. To me, it was very exciting. I was like, and then I'm going to set up defenses. And now there's a clean water source for my people. <laughs> Ooh, now there's enough people tending to the field to give them food to last through the winter. Wonderful. You would have been like, let's leave. Yeah, let's go do stuff now. <laughs> yep, look at that beautiful creature. Majestic. Look how many udders it has. Yeah. And then we want to go to, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just Thank oh. you. Just wait for it. Oh, wow. That was perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. Everything you've ever wanted in life. Beautiful. What's this? Is that a mannequin? We, we don't want to go that way. Oh, wait. Yes, we do. If we go this way, there's robot pirates. But... We need to go to Good Town first. Good neighbor? Good neighbor first. Yeah. You didn't see this. No. <laughs> 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 You guys didn't see that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, see, magic. Ta-da! All right, okay, so now, guys, we're in Good Neighbor, and I'm about to show you guys the only male character in this game that I really desperately want to bone. <laughs> Don't judge me. Right, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Not this guy, You better right? back off. Or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well, hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, oh. they're a guest. You lay off that He's like, don't look at him. Crap. What do you care? She ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I love him. Yes. Well, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Me too. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Doing good. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Sarcastic. Of the people, for the people. Oh, brother. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Right, He's so a pirate. Now, let's check out this person. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. What are you? Yeah. Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? You got robo-boobs. Robo-boobs. Oh, 
Of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot. Designation Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. I love you, Cleo. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Now mm. what are you buying? Uh, Assaultron? Yes. You're an Assaultron? That's what my maker has called me. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. Unfortunately. So what'll it be? Unfortunately, you cannot romance this... The robot? The robo-woman. The Assaultron robot Because she woman. sounds very, like... Like she would have, like... You know how... <laughs> you know what I imagine her as being when you have sex with her? She, like, replaces her hands with, like, automated dildos, dildos that, like, they're, like, see that, like, like, one is, like, a piston dildo, and yeah. the other one's a vibrating <laughs> one, but it's, like, a really, like, fast jackhammer one. It's, like, da 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 <laughs> But both her hands, like, one's a vibrating one, and one's, like, a jackhammer one, and, mm -hmm. and she's, like, are you ready? <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> I am ready. Don't keep me waiting, baby. See what I'm mm -hmm. saying with this? So what kinds of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Yes. I've got a few minutes to browse. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sequin dress? Wow. We got that from What's Her Face. Ah. Remember that lady was like, I'm gonna do a bunch of weird shit. Um, you have... saved her with Valentine? Yes. She's like, yeah, tell me what to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, Robson. yes. Hell yeah. No, we hey. didn't save her, we killed oh, her. Oh, yeah, same thing. Into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. Can't handle a friendly face, I say. So you need some supplies? What's it like, you know, being a ghoul? Well, it's a lot worse when people always ask you about it all the time. But I... Guess I can't blame them. On the upside, I look pretty good. For being over 220 years old. Now, were you buying anything? Wait, you're 220 years old. Okay, okay. It's more like 270 years. But don't go blabbing that to everyone. Being a ghoul means you live a long time. You stop counting birthdays. Do you know what it's like being that old? For a ghoul with all your skin falling off, your lips seem to be really on point, though. Yes. Yes, I do. Actually, I do. <laughs> well, now you're just making fun of me. If you were as old as I was, you would have been around since before the war. So let's hear it. Come on. Tell me what the world was like before the war if you're so ancient. Mm, what do you want to say? We have to be an asshole. We have to be an asshole? Yeah, that's our. We're playing as an asshole. Yes, so then I guess we say violent and ugly. The world before was nothing but petty governments going to war, dragging us into it, and shooting whoever refused to clean up the mess. You know, I had a husband that was killed in the war with the Reds. They didn't even tell me where he died. Classified information and all. Well, you're either the most well-preserved ghoul I've ever seen, or you're the second best bullshitter and good neighbor. <laughs> Whatever. Well, that's just the way I remember it. You know, if you haven't already, you should check out the Hotel Rexford. There's another pre-war ghoul hanging around there. Well, we should get back to business. What are you picking up? 
Uh, not interested right now. Not today. Okay. And, um, let's... Hey. What? What? Anyway, so now we can turn on the radio and there will be Silver Shroud Radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Kent Conley. The Silver Shroud needs you. Galaxy News Radio. We go over him. When he walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows. Who's the red? Shielding the innocent, that judging the guilty. That guardian is yes, the Silver is. Shroud. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors crazy. Thefts, murders, worth. Oops, I'm sorry. Wrong button. Okay. Uh, the world's horrible. The whole world's crazy. N -n no argument here. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Silver Shroud? Ooh, oh, that damn it. Sorry. Wrong button. I'm sorry. You remember him if you heard his show. They're the best detective shows in the whole world. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Uh, humor him? Sure, Kent. You have a plan, all right. I know how it sounds. I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Yeah, sure. Fuck yeah. Reward. I might do it, if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. Definitely. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. This guy is he so looks, adorable. I know, he looks so excited. He's like, yeah, let's do it, it'll be awesome. Well, so in the context of his life, he lived through the entire events of everything. Yeah. Because after the first bombings, it was really bad for a long time. Mm -hmm. Very bad. And he kind of just like got really depressed, and now the only thing that makes him happy is listening to old Silver Shroud stuff. Oh. This lady. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Yeah. Why would you even have this if I can't go into memories? That's not fun. What is that exactly? So you go into these pods, mm -hmm. and you sit in there, and it'll go into your brain, and you can relive old memories. Oh, that sounds like it could be like very addictive. It is. And then they can read their memories. This kind of reminds me of The Matrix. I don't know why. Yeah. Just the aesthetic. That weird... When we first walked in, it kind of it like reminds me of like what you think of like an opium den. Oh. Where people just come and like just sit in their malaise for like days. As one does. As one Everyone, does. Gather around. Let's kick the Better keep your iron strapped on. Friendly advice. Hey, need something? Hey there. What's up? How's my favorite girl? Your thoughts? Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps. I love you. What are your thoughts on our relationship? Could be worse. Could be better. What do you want? A daily report? Yes. Nothing else I needed. Fine by me. Sounds good. Huh? <laughs> Bald suit, huh? You feel me? Hotel Roxford. There's somebody in here. I don't know where they are, but they're gonna be a fun surprise. Uh, 
Red, is it? Are you going to hang out in the lobby all day again, or are you actually going to go down I just clean and up do some here. work? Being available to the customers is work. It's not all about cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stop using them, they focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using Whoa. it? Hello. My mistake. Remember him? Oh dear. Hey. What? No. It can't. It, it, it. It's you. From Sanctuary Hills, right? Oh. Oh goodness. Maybe. I might have stopped by there once or twice. You're not fooling me. I sold you that space in the vault, remember? But then, I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? Blood of my enemies. Well, you kill enough people. Sooner or later, something's bound to make you immortal. Oh. Oh, that's rich. Real funny. Just like that robot of yours. After the bombs fell and I came to, that bucket of bolts was still there. Trimming those damned edges like nothing happened. <laughs> Codsworth? Sar sarcastic or threatened? Oh, sarcastic. Yep, I must have set Codsworth's blind optimism levels to stunningly. You know... You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement wants a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Yeah, you can come to stay in my place, though. Yeah. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. If this ghoul ends up living anywhere near me, I'm moving Rotate. out. Rotate. Shut up. It's cute sometimes, but sometimes you're being real rude, okay? Get some manners. Oh, by the way, like in in uh, this game, all you know, usually you can pick up a bunch of junk and stuff, and it's worthless. Now you can use all that junk to build stuff that you find in the wasteland to help your settlements and build houses and stuff. It's ah. real neat. It's coolio. Before you even start, let's get to the. Po okay. Well, bye then. What? Hey there. You new round good neighbor, if I'm not mistaken. What? <laughs> Later! Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. 